I want to go over the process of collecting a sample for a pharmacogenomic or a PGX testing um, that I always talk about. So as you know that PGX testing is so important for starting any type of medications because each person reacts to medications differently. And it's so important to get one of these testing done because our body produces different enzymes and they break medications down differently. So taking a medication without getting this type of test is just throwing your fate out there into the world. You wouldn't do that. You just make sure you get this um, very simple test done. And to make it even easier, I'll show you exactly what you need to do and what are the steps in completing the testing. So ready? So this is your test kit that I'm going to provide to you very standard um, directions for use within the lab. So you basically need a collection of your buccal or cheek sample. And if you've done a COVID test before, this is way easier than that. Not It's not a nasal swab that you need a collection from, it's a cheek. So ready? Directions for use a biohazard bag to put the sample in and return it, and your test tube with swab. And also, not to forget the return address, mailing envelope. When you see your samples collected, you put it in there and just return it. So, if you're all set, make sure your hands are clean, you haven't um, eaten anything for half an hour before your collection time. And it goes over all of that in the directions. There's about, 15 different languages here, so make sure you read the directions first. And um, if you're ready, let's go. Once you get the packaging open, you're gonna remove the testing swab while holding the vial upright. Make sure that it doesn't spill, there's liquid in there. You're gonna collect samples from the lower gum area by rubbing the swab 10 times in this area and 10 times in this area. Once you do so, you're gonna return it back to the vial, tightly seal the vial and shake it for 10 times. Once you do so, put it inside of the biohazard baggie, seal, return it inside of the box, then your envelope, and then send it on the mail. Pretty easy, right? That was the hardest part in all of this. Now the fun part. In about 14 days, I'll get your results and review with you and your physician. And depending on the findings, I'll either make recommendations to adjust your dosages, add medications, or remove medications from your profile. So think of it this way. You wouldn't want to take any medications or new therapies without getting genetic testing done. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll be glad to answer them.